2022. And right now I'm joined by my friends Justin and John from Master Fluid Solutions. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. How's the show been so far? It's been great. You, you know, you're not sure what's going to happen four years since the last show, how the turnout's going to be, but it's, it's been a great show. Lots of people coming by the yeah, booth. Lots of people, yeah. And you guys have a fantastic Customers, booth Distributors, here as friends, well. everything, yeah, yeah. And what are we talking about today when we're talking about Master Fluid Solutions? So, one of the main themes of, of our show this year is what's the true cost of coolant? You know, coolant affects so many different things. It affects cutting tools and people and machines, parts, everything. Everything that goes through a shop is affected by coolant. So, you know, it's so much more than just the price of a gallon in a drum, right? What's in the drum, what's behind the drum, what it affects. So really today or this show, we're talking about what's the true cost of coolant. And what would you say that breaks down into? I believe we have some, yeah. some uh, graphics here that can help explain that a little better. Yeah, a lot of people get concerned and worried about how much does that drum cost. Yeah. It's really not about how much the drum costs. And really when you get into coolant, coolant is less than 1% of the cost of a part. Right. Yeah. Not a whole lot. Yeah. The, some of the big ones are down here, the machinery. Machining is 25, 30% of the cost. So yeah. a little bit of change in coolant going the wrong way, cheapening up, can cost you tons of money because you can't run your machines as efficient. Yeah. Same thing with tool life. If you can go cheap on coolant and your tool costs go up, tooling is much more expensive than the cost of a yeah. coolant for the part. So. <laughs> You got to pick the right coolant for the application to maximize your profit. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's easy to look at. I mean, whenever you buy a drum, you're buying a drum. Yeah. That's a month supply. That's a two month supply, sure. whatever it is at your shop. It can be intimidating, but when you break it down like that, it makes a lot of sense because at every shop, every part is going to be touched by coolant. Touched by coolant. Yeah. And the and other thing I'm sure everybody who touches that part <laughs> also is going to be touching operators, everything, you know, it affects air quality. And you know, one of the things we look at is tool life, right? People are here at the show checking out the latest technology and tools, machine tools, uh, but they might be running coolant that's 10, 15 years old. Well, Hopefully that, not the same tank. Yeah, <laughs> right. <exactly. laughs> and that coolant wasn't designed for today's speeds and feeds. So I try to describe it like you know the, the latest cutting tool coatings. Some of those you need to run faster to, to get that coating to work properly. Right. It's the same thing with the new technology coolants. And when we're talking new technology and coolants, what kind of changes have happened that people may not be aware of? Because I am not very up to date on this kind yeah. of information. So there's always new new technologies coming out from the formulations and chemistries of the coolant. You know, there's always concerns about like reach compliance SVHC. So you have you have to do more with less in your toolbox. So our formulators get very creative in, in what they can do with coolants now. And what kind of formulas are we talking about if we're talking master fluids right here? I see we have some so samples here. We actually have six six products this this show, this show, and four of those are brand new. And what's the first one we have here? I, I grabbed this one. It's uh, one of the newest technologies, and it, it is a new patented coolant. Uh, eight 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 NXT, our hyperstall line. Yeah. And this is a product that has fantastic cooling, but it has lubricity like nothing else. And if you're doing hard metals like yep. titanium, Inconel, Waspoloy, this is unsurpassed. And why is that so good for that application? Uh, it's all in those wonderful trade secrets. <laughs> <but> yeah. that, <laughs> I, I won't say it. I'd have to kill you if I tell you. Fair right? enough. Fair so enough. It, it is a great product for those hard metals, but we're also finding it really good on simple things like steels, but we're seeing people get Two, three hundred percent improvement in tool life. Yep. Using this coolant versus some of the cheaper stuff that's Tra out there on the market. Technology. Apples yeah. to apples, yeah. just that one change can make that big a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. There's one shop right now that we just finished up doing a tool life study. Three hundred percent increase on tools on wasp alloy. That is a yep. enormous, enormous. Just because not only are you, you know, getting higher performance out of it, but yep. tooling in a lot of these industries. If you're doing Inconel, if you're doing titanium, the tooling itself, it, it's expensive. It's eye wateringly <laughs> expensive yes. in a lot of cases. Yeah, absolutely. And the machines you're using are not your cheap machine. You're no. pay, paying a lot of money for that machine, and that cost per hour is up there too. So this yep. kind of a product yep. makes absolutely. a huge difference, and it's a product that doesn't foam because all those machines have high pressure. So you got to have something that works with the entire setup that you have. So this is designed for through cool coolant spindle. Yes. This is designed for, Absolutely. like you said, high pressure. Great. Yep. Uh, and then we have other new products like our 642RX, which is designed to be used in the medical industry. Yep. 
There's a lot of restrictions and requirements. A lot of stainless steel titanium, so it's got to cut those metals, but it also has to meet all those restrictions that we have in the in the medical industry. Yeah. That's something I never that never would have crossed my yeah. mind, but I guess you know if you're making bone screws, it, it, if you're implantable using war medical letters. devices, sure you have cytotoxicity concerns, you can't use animal derivatives. Really? All that stuff comes into play when you're talking about the medical industry. It never would have crossed yep. my mind. Yep. But especially, yeah, if you're implanting something in somebody, sure. <laughs> some of those metals might have a little bit of porosity or whatever it may be. Correct. Yep. You need to make sure yeah, you're not gonna absolutely. poison them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not, quite yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and that's part of what what this whole thing is about is to have something that we can do those implantable yeah. any kind of medical device. This is the new product for that medical industry. And who do you see right now really switching over to master fluid solutions? What kind of shops are you seeing making that jump across the product lines? So we're we're very strong in aerospace. Our 642RX is taking off in the medical industry. A lot of the the traditional medical products. It's one of the most difficult industries to switch fluids in but a lot of those products were kind of grandfathered in because they've been used for so long. Right. But we're seeing new technology and with the 642RX, they're kind of opening their eyes on what's out there for coolant now. And what are we looking at here? This is a Trim E715. Yeah, it's another new product. It's a general purpose. You said, you know, who do we see? Yes, the right. aerospace, the medical, medical uh, oil and gas, but we also have just a great general purpose you know, the smaller shop that sure. wants something that's economical, cuts a little bit of everything, does a great job, doesn't have stink, doesn't have issues yep. with the skin, gets rid of rust, all that kind of stuff. Just a good general purpose, non-foaming, simple to maintain fluid. And so we just general purpose, yeah, yeah absolutely, it, for everybody, yeah. That, much, that job shop, yeah, maybe cutting, the job uh, yeah, exactly. yeah, maybe cutting exactly. aluminum today, steel tomorrow, and who knows, maybe in cast iron the next day. Yeah. So you got to have it's literally that all the stuff I run through my mills, and that's yeah. the thing. When I see, uh, you know, when we're looking at solutions for different things, people will say, "Oh, this is really good for doing this," but then if you read between the lines, well, actually, it's actually not good at this other thing. Right. And if I'm doing ten different parts in a day, you know, in, in a mill or yeah. a lathe, I may not have time to go drain the tank, sure. scrub it out, switch <laughs> over. So something like this can be across all my machines. I don't want to buy one for my lathe, nope. one for my mill. It can be across all. And, and that's why we offer so many products. The products and challenges for a job shop are different than a high production shop doing one kind of part and material. Absolutely. Yeah. What's the last one we want to take a peek at here while we have a second? Well, the other new one is the Microsoft 692. This came out about six months ago or so. It's another really good general purpose, a little bit yep. higher performance than the E715. Better foam, foam control, great on big high pressure machines, lots of difficult machining really high lubricity, so it can be used on the Inconels, the titaniums, and things like that, as well as the aluminums and the steels, and it's a little bit more cost-effective than the 888 NXT, which is just focused on those really hard metals, so. Absolutely, this is more a, if you're a really good job shop, <laughs> this is where you want to go. Maybe not my shop, but, you know, this is where we're going. Just kidding, guys, so we'll see you when I'm back. <laughs> so, that, that's kind of the whole, that, you know, we're always looking to push the technology and the coolant so that we can keep this cost up here about the same, but make a big difference down here on the machinery and the labor and yep. the tooling. And I assume with all these too, you guys have very good skin contact oh, with these absolutely, types. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we do all that testing even before a product is ever launched. Yeah. So you're not waiting until the guys are coming back with rash <laughs> yeah, we, we, we don't want to have that issue either, right? So, yeah. And just as the operators are in this stuff all the time, we and our service guys are in this stuff all the yep. time as well. And we want you to be safe and us yep. to be safe. Right. So right. that's the whole thing. So we always make sure. And what's coming up this year for Master Fluids? Are you guys going to be hitting more trade shows? Are you guys going to be out and about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah after of... seeing the turnout this today, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Now, where can we find more information about Master Fluid if people want to get in touch with you guys? So we're on all the major social media channels, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, I think we have a Twitter account, so any, anywhere you can reach out to us on our website. Um, you go on LinkedIn, find people. We're, we're happy to help any way we can. We, you know, we truly believe in supporting our products from the start to finish. So masterfluids.com, Master Fluids go on our website. All this information is uh, data sheets, SDSs, if people want to learn how safe it is, yeah. are all on our, our website, so it's easy to get. Uh, information. And of course, if you're at IMTS, you're here until Saturday. You make sure you stop by the booth. Come say hello. Thank you very yeah. much, guys. Yeah, it was yeah, great. Enjoy the rest of your show. Thank you.